In this video, we'll see about the test view. So like previous videos, we have seen about the requirements. There were four different types of requirement views. Same way, when it comes to test cases, we have two different types of test views. Those views are used based on the role which are using it. Now, what are those different views? The first one is test plan tree view and the second one is test grid view. Suppose if you are a test lead, test manager, you can use the second one that is test grid view where it is very easy to filter out all the test cases. If you are a tester, you can go for the first one that is test plan tree view. So let us see practically how do you work on different test views. So now whatever you're seeing on the screen right now, that is one type of view. The name of this view is nothing but test plan tree view. So basically there are two types of views here. The second one is test grid view and the first one is test plan tree view. Now test plan tree view, if you observe all the test cases are properly organized in a tree structure or you can say as hierarchical structure where you can find out which test case belongs to which folder and this folder might have some other parent folder. So you can find out the relationship easily where you can find out which test case is dependent on which one and so on. So this is nothing but test plan tree view which you are working earlier. What is the benefit of using this test plan tree view is if you select any one test case you can see all the details of this test case in different tabs. If you see that's the details, design steps, parameters and so on. So you don't have to take much effort you know the, like double clicking and finding out the dialog box at one go you can easily find out what are the different tabs which are present different details about that particular test case. We have another type of view the name of the view is test grid view. It is specially used by the test managers or the test leads to find out the performance to find out the metrics kind of and uh, you know filter out the things specially used for filtering part let's see how do they how do they use it so now i'll select this option as test grid view when i select this the view will change if you remember we have seen this type of views into requirement module where there were four different types of module requirement details requirements grid view requirement coverage and so on so what is the benefit of using this view suppose i am a team leader or a manager and if I want to find out some specific things here, let's say for example, I want to find out all the test cases which has a status as design. So if you see, I have so many test cases with design status. So I can just click on this drop down and then I can select the option as design, click on OK. So basically I'm filtering out now as a team leader or a test manager, it is easy for me to find out what are the different test cases with status as design. Okay. So I'll just remove this filter. I'll click on this drop down, clear it, click on OK. Now, here if you observe test case designer, I'll just minimize this. Yeah. Here if you observe the designer part, everybody is, the name is given as Pawan. So suppose if there are different people in the project who have created test cases, I'll just change the name, click on this drop down and I'll select as Mercy, click on OK. I'm just randomly changing it. So while filtering, I can show you exactly what is happening. John and from here if I select some other person let's say again John click on OK from here I'll select some other person let's say Robert OK and this one I'll select as Mercy click on OK now suppose I'm a team leader or test manager I want to find out this person has created how many test cases suppose Mercy so I can just click on this drop down select this option select this Mercy from here click on OK and if you observe mercy has just created only one test case so i can it is easy for me to filter employees from the company whichever i want to keep it or fire it i can easily do the task same way if i want to find out another person let's say robert click on okay and if you observe robert also is one so i can just fire him immediately i'll just click on clear and if i see there's a pawan and i'll click on okay and if you see pawan has created so many test cases so he's a good employee you can keep this person in the company so it is easy for filtering out, not only for single column filtering, but you can also do multiple column filtering. So here, if the status is no run, you can just click on this drop down and you can find out any other option, like say other status, execution status, and you can click on OK. Right now, since I have no run, so there's no option of selecting here anything. Now, how do you clear the filters? Filter is applied from here. Either you can click on this drop down and you can click on this clear button. This is one method. Second method is 
if you see on the top it says filter designer pawan i can just click on this drop down select the option as clear filter and sort when i click on this it will ask me are you sure you want to clear the current filter or sort i'll say yes yes and the filter would be cleared so i'll click on yes and if you observe the filter would be cleared and all the list of test cases would be visible here if you observe one more thing if you notice here you will not be getting the relationship between the test cases that means which test case is a child or a parent of which test case you know dependency you cannot find out they are not given in the hierarchical manner they are just given a list where all the test cases are considered as individual entity if you observe i have a column named as subject where it says which folder your test case belongs if you see this these are the others flights login logout so here you can get the subject part now if you observe in the view menu bar test plan tree view here it is difficult to filter out you cannot filter out all the test cases here so i mean it is e difficult based on the criteria you can filter out so here only you can get the relationship between the parent folder parent test case and the child test case which are dependent on each other so i hope you have understood how to work on different types of views and what are the benefits that's all for this video